In the previous lecture, we have designed the canonical collection of L R one item for the given grammar, and now we will design the C L R one passing table for that canonical collection of this grammar. Okay, so for the designing of C L R one passing table, we need the numbering that I have assigned I zero, I zero, I one, I two, I three, I four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so only difference uh, between C L R and L R one and that we have discussed as L R one. The difference is that only the reduce move that we will place before that reduce move. I will give the numbering. Let us give number that one, number two, and number three. Okay. So in this table, C L R one passing table, I will place the reduce move. Okay, for example, this reduce move I will place in the table under the look at symbol. And look at symbol there is A and B. Same, this one reduce move I will put under the A and B. Okay, so let us complete that. For so for let us start with zero. So zero by taking S will go to one. So I will not mention this one because this one is a augmented grammar and this is only for the acceptor only. So now I will take I zero by taking T will go to two. So I will mention here I one, I one by taking T will go to two. So I zero will I zero by taking T will go to two. So I will write it here two because this one is a go to entry. Okay. Next is action action table entry. So um, by A. By passing dot to A, it will go to three. Means I will have shift move under A. And same for B, that is for B. Same for B, we have reduce move as four. Okay. Next we have one. So this one is a uh, augmented production. So I will not mention it here. So next we have is next we have is I two. So I two by taking T will go to I five. I five. So I will mention here I five under the T. Next I two by taking T will go to I six. I six by taking T it will shift it to it will shift it to this S six. Okay, and by B it will shift it to S seven. Next we have is third step. So third by taking T will go to eight. Eight here. Next I three by taking A will remain in same. So I will write it shift move. And next by B it will go to four. So I will mention it here as four. Okay. So for the fourth stage, we have fourth stage is final stage. So I will not mention the uh, because this one is the final. I will mention that reduce move after completing the all all the item which is not final. So now I will check for I five is it is final. I will mention it later. Next, I will take here. So six sixth by taking T will go to nine. So we mention it here nine. Again, six by taking A will remain in remain in same. I see S six, and it will by taking B will go to seven. So I will mention shift move under B. Okay. Now I will check for that seven. It is final. So I will mention later. Same and same. Okay. So <coughs> this is all about. Now I will check the reduce move. Okay. So reduce move. I will check. This is augmented grammar. Mm, this is only for the accept tense. So let us mention that here. Accept. Yes. Next final production, 
one atom we have is this one S4. So S4 here V is reducing to T and number to that production is 3. Means V is reducing to T and I will place that V under the look ahead of this production, this atom. And the look ahead is A and B. So I will place that reduce move under A and B. Okay, under A and B because the look ahead for this item is A and B. Next final item is this one, fifth. Okay, so I will place that TT reduce move TT to S. Number to that production is TT to S is one. So I will put the reduce move one under the look ahead symbol. Okay, so here the look ahead is dollar. So I will place that R one here. Okay, so after that final item we have is this one because dot is at the rightmost side. So number to that production is 3 because V is reducing to T. V is reducing to T. So I will place the reduce move under the look ahead which is dollar. Okay. Next we have final item is this one I8 and number of that production is 80 is 2. Okay, so this one is reducing to T means R2. So R2 reduce move I will place under the look ahead which are A and B. So I will place here R2 and R2. Okay, this is over. Next final item that we have is 8 is over. Next we have is this one is an atom I9. So I9 here AT is reducing to T. AT is reducing to T and number reproduction is 2 means 2 2. R2 is a reduced move. I will put under the look ahead which is dollar. Okay. So this is the uh, CLR1 passing table for the given grammar. And for the given, uh, for the canonical collection that we have derived. Okay. So the difference between that we have discussed LR0 and SLR1 is that in case of LR0, we have placed the reduce move, this reduce move under the complete row. And in second SLR1 parser, we have placed that reduce move under the for of that production. But in case of CLR1, we have placed the reduce move only in the look ahead of that production. Okay, so this is all about CLR1 parser. And now we have next parser is LALR1 LALR1 parser. Okay, so how we uh, how we uh, we will drive LALR1 LALR1 parser with the help of this this. So for this, we will check that this item I3 and I6 is similar, means that we have that we have I3 comma I6 is similar. The only difference is between its look ahead symbol. Okay, look ahead. Otherwise, it is simple. So I will make a new production with the help of these two, and name to that production is I36. Okay. So same is with the with the production I4 and I4 and I7. This one is also same. Means I4 and I7. I can make a new production with these two and name that production is I 47 okay because this and this one sorry this and this one is same or similar but the only difference between its look ahead so I can make uh, I can replace I 4 to I 47 or I 7 to I 47 we will discuss this with the help uh, in this passing table and same for the state I 8 and I 9 means I8 comma I9 
I can make it to I eighty nine because these are the singer. The only difference is its look ahead. Okay. So for L A L R one parser, we have to know down this. Now for the L A. So for the L A. LR one parsing table. I will change, or I will change I three or the shift move that we have I three. I can change that three two, three two, three six. If I am getting six, six anywhere here, so I I will change that six to three six. If I am uh, getting four here, for example four here, then I will change that to. Forty-seven, and if I am getting seven, then I will again change, change that to forty-seven. So let us do that. First, in the first row, if I have I thirty-six, so I will make this to I thirty-six. If I am getting four, shift operation four, then I will make it as forty-seven. Okay. So next is for. Next is for. This one, if I'm getting six, six, then I will change that to I thirty six. So I will make it as thirty six. And if I'm getting seven, then I will make that to I will make that to forty seven. Okay. So I will check here. If I'm getting three, three, I will change that to thirty six. And if I'm getting four, then I will change it to forty seven. Okay. Same here. For this reduce move, if I am getting I R three, I will change that to I will change that to R R six. Please, I will not. Okay. So <coughs> one thing that you have to note is I will not make that changes for the reduce move. Okay. Uh, reduce move will be remain same. Okay, so I will uh, make changes for the shift move and the go to entry. Okay, the shift move, uh, that reduce move will remain same. Same will remain same. And now the changes will be here: thirty, thirty-six, and forty, forty-seven. And here, what is over here? Also, I will make it as thirty-six, forty-seven, thirty-six, forty-seven, and I will make that eight to eighty-nine. Because eight, I will change to nine. If I am getting nine, then I will change it to nine. So here eighty nine, eighty nine. So in this table, I am seeing that this one, this and this is same because here we have here we have thirty six, thirty six, thirty as uh, shift move. As thirty six, as thirty six, as forty seven, as forty seven, and eight nine. So it will it will duplicate, and I can remove that too. I can remove that. Okay. Like this. Right. So next we have is this one eighty nine and eighty nine. This one I can reduce to. Single row by merging operation. So if I am getting the uh, similar row, then I will merge these two rows, and this will this one will become R two will be merged to this position. R two will be get merged with this cell, and I will remove that cell. Okay. So two cell that we have produced. Next reduction possible. Possibility is in this and this because I will merge that R three with this cell. Okay, by mentioning R three here, I can reduce this also. Okay, so there we have one, two, and three. Three rows have been reduced. And the remaining rows are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay. So after that reduction operation, we have in this one. This is the table for LA, LR, one parser, and that we have designed with the help of CLR, one parser. Okay, so in this parser we have number of number of rows from ten to seven, three rows that we have reduced in this. Okay, so this is all about the this is all about the SLR one parser and LA, LR one parser. Okay, so I am repeating the difference between these. What we have done in our LR zero parser in LR zero parser, we have placed the reduce move in the complete row, in the complete row of the parsing table, and in next that we have is SLR one parser. In that case, we have placed the reduce move under the four of the production. Okay. And next that we have is CLR one. In this case, we have placed the reduce move under the look ahead symbol. Okay. And in this, we have reduced the CLR one parser with the help of reduction operation. With the uh, reduction operation that if I am getting number similar in our passing table, then we will reduce with the help of merge. Okay. So thank you